ETV News Odia presents Educast Excellence Awards 2015. by the time we are setting the stage for the panel discussion let you know the first topic for the day which is teacher excellence avenues and challenges let me also uh, take the opportunity to briefly inform about all our panelists for the first discussion we have with us professor mukti mishra the founder of century in university of technology and management we have with us also dr Biswajit Patnaik the founder director of Asian School of Business Management and professor in the area of organizational behavior and human human resource management professor P Shrinivas Subarao is the executive registrar and the dean of students welfare at Sri Sri University Odisha we have with us dr Vijay K Sahu the founder and chairman of Sai International School which is ranked the sixth best school of india Dr Satyavrata Minaketan founder director and principal of Odium Public School we have with us professor Ratnam B Rajkumar who is the director of IIT Bhubaneswar we have Dr Anil Bajpai director KIT School of Management well i would now request Dr Anil Bajpai to take this session forward from here thank you it is a humbling experience to moderate a panel discussion led by such eminent teachers well, well i don't know if teachers is the right word these are people who have led the industry of education or the education of industry uh, whichever way you might want to put it into the the new millennium they have all started in the 1900s and taken the world of education into the 2000s yes there are challenges there are lots of areas where 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 we want more reform we want the education system to follow what the industry wants and vice versa so can we hear from uh, professor mukti mishra uh, he's he's been a founder uh, we've heard him very recently on the skill development the entire country heard him the world heard him so i i guess it's a good idea for us to hear some of those views specifically and 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 professor mishra may i may i request you to be very specific on uh, the teacher excellence aspect of education as we find it today uh, good morning to all of you i have been asked to be very specific but the teacher problem is so diverse how can i be specific how many of you told told your child or children i want you to be a teacher 1 2 3 4 5 uh, no 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 bluffing uh, genuinely you have worked on them to become teachers okay now that there are three four people how many of you want that your child should be taught by a bad teacher none and everybody wants an excellent teacher my child should be taught by the excellent teacher. if he wants his child to be a teacher how you will become a teacher? पढ़ते जाओ पढ़ते जाओ मास्टर्स करो एम फिल करो पी एच डी करो देन यू बिकम ए टीचर बट टीचर एज ए प्रोफेसर हेज नेवर बीन एनकरेज इज ए क्वालिफिकेशन हुई हेज बीन एनकरेज द फंडामेंटल प्रॉब्लम विद दैट सो ओडिशा कैन टेक ए लीड प्योर एंड सिंपल टू क्रिएट एन इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ टीचर्स फ्रॉम क्लास टेन दैट टीचिंग एज ए प्रोफेसन शुड बी टॉट फ्रॉम क्लास वन दैट यू कैन बिकम ए टीचर फर्स्ट क्रिएट ए पाथवे how somebody can become a teacher number 1 number 2 that teachers training in odisha we take you know i know people like us we are also education criminals of creating institutes for printing degrees and awarding degrees without competency ability dexterity and capacity i have got three masters and a phd all these four degrees can be sold for 2 dollar because none of my degrees taught me other than because i was compelled to do some exercise in western world so i learned little bit during my education education and ground reality they are parallel foundation from my experience that we must focus which is possible convert in every district some schools some colleges as a place where teachers can go and learn something do themselves hands on experienced best and practice orientation forget so, about research so, forget about innovation thank so you very hear, much so we hear professor mishra mentioning a requirement a requirement of training trainers of creating teachers of creating excellence in the profession called teaching so teaching is it a profession is it a passion i can i can hear very very impassioned views from professor mishra let's have biswajit now uh, who is an hr expert how do we define excellent teacher now there is a profession which he was talking about 
and a profession needs passion i don't deny that a great doctor is a professional but he needs also pro passion but there are many professions nowadays which they don't have any passion but they are in profession are we giving the students a platform to introspect to think and to innovate now innovation is lacking i was reading reuter has published the universal rank the world rank of the universities of innovations you will be surprised to know in 100 universities in the world 50 universities are from united states 27 universities are from european countries only one university is from china seven universities from japan and not a single university from india why because fundamentally we are not believing in research it is all teaching institutions the teacher is expected to come to the class and vomit and move out so therefore to my mind an excellent teacher should be innovator he should look within and try to create a platform wherein he will play a role of a facilitator and give plenty of opportunity to the students to innovate to think and also to see that what kind of new initiative can be taken and once we create the classroom interesting i am sure that the educational institutions will be different and we will be in the list of that 100 universities in the world thank you very much achieved teaching but apparently no learning am i correct uh, in that assumption there's a lot of teaching that goes on there are so many techniques there are tools there are available methods pedagogies of all types and everybody comes and delivers an excellent lecture what is learned we have created immense monoliths which have classrooms which have fantastic infrastructure which have everything except the soul except what is called teaching and learning first of all i'll uh, like to thank uh, the organizers for giving me this opportunity to share a few of my thoughts discussing on education we all believe and we all know that uh, the development of any nation the underlying asset is education and i'm sure in days to come or in the following years and my request also will be to etv news to make this format little larger where you can dedicate a day to each sector so the challenge of today is enabling teachers with the modern day technology and the it intervention if india wants to be a superpower it has to integrate this we cannot tell that our institutions our teachers of thousand year back used to acquire the knowledge themselves remember it teach in the class and force the children to remember that's not possible so the last thought is i fully agree that we need to build capacity in the teaching community thank you god bless what has been just raised in the last three deliberations is a very important point why should every 12th class student have avenue and access to a higher education degree is it important the next 20 years in india are going to see 660 million young people and that is going to be chaos if everyone is armed with an engineering degree it's going to be mayhem it's going to be murder of the worst kind sir can i invite you please ajira vishobastu hochi the teach that is the challenges of education the challenges of education we have 
the several challenges of education system in India, not only Odisha. Odisha is a part of it. Total Odisha, re, 24, 24, 24, 24, 24, 24, 24, 24, 24, 24, 24, 24, 24, 24, 24, 24, 24, 24, 24, 24, 24, 24, 24, 24, 47 point something and the gross dropout is uh, 57.23. So now you think it is a major challenges of the Indian education system particularly I am giving the scenario of Odisha. So, you know, the role of the teacher is more important than the others. The second challenge is uh, coming the quality education. Quality education kahile ke wala teacher nuhi. The quality education kahile ame tar environment it is a triangular process. The parents, teacher or society or the school environment is a, that is another that quality education is we three people are responsible for it. जे टीचर्स मानकर पोजीशन कोण बा टीचर्स मानकर कंसिस्टेंसी कोण एवरीबॉडी शुड अंडरस्टैंड आवर गवर्नमेंट शुड अंडरस्टैंड आवर पेरेंट्स शुड अंडरस्टैंड आवर सोसाइटी शुड अंडरस्टैंड जे व्हाट इज द कंसिस्टेंसी बिफोर ए टीचर आई टीचर्स ट्रेनिंग बाय एक्सीलेंस को कहले दुईटा भित्तिभूमि हमें नबा फर्स्ट इज एकेडमिक अ टीचिंग लर्निंग प्रोसेस एक्सीलेंस इन द टीचिंग लर्निंग प्रोसेस अनदर इज द लाइफ स्किल excellence in the life skill education that is called the life every teacher should know how to teach every lesson that is in the classroom we have to change our curriculum we have to the change our system of training and this is the most important the skill development training process to be developed by the teachers i mean you man making industry karuche tenu pilan ko sahit na kheli Pilanka Sangare, Pilanka Babisat Godiva Pine. This is the right time that every teacher should do it. Thank you. That was that was really coming from the heart. We could we could sense the pain that, that uh, has been felt at least at the primary level. I have seen reality. If you call them trained teachers and pay them less than what you pay your driver, I don't know what it means. So so excellence is is, is something which is a terrible thing. We expect excellence at the price of peanuts. And you know the story of peanuts and monkeys. So we, we, we will get monkeys. Believe me, we will get monkeys. Unless we pay them something better than peanuts. So can I have Mr. Subarao uh, to, to, to talk something about the experience? First of all, I congratulate ETV people for organizing such an event. And I also thank that Honorable Minister for continuously staying and listening all the opinions of the academicians because many times politicians are not sitting when the academicians are speaking. Thank you. Because my other speakers have said about the teacher, the teacher role and the excellence. But how teacher get excellence? That is the question first. Before you are thinking about that, the teacher excellence, you have to think about that, that universities are educational institutions excellence. How far, how many universities are concentrating for the research? Because without research, we can't do anything. Because research suffers, teaching suffers. If teaching suffers, student suffers. And if the student suffers, the placement suffers. And the placement suffers, automatically the reputation of the institution will suffer. The ROI may not to the expected level. Because here, ROI means that not return on investment, the reputation on investment. That is most important thing. Otherwise, the universities has to think about that. Our teachers should be the uh, providers of the employability skills, not only by teaching or delivering. So today, you can see about that, except two institutions in the country may not be much in the top 500 universities in the world. Because the only reason is that our people are not concentrating on the research. 
The second important thing is that the technology enabled learning. When the technology enabled learning will give a lot of opportunities to the faculties. And because that management should increase the faculties to give all this type of support, how many institutions are sending their faculty for the faculty development programs, management development programs, or how many institutions in the country are encouraging or to make a tie up with the world top universities for the teacher training. Except still last 30 years we are saying about that uh, Commonwealth Fellowship or UNICEF Fellowship or maybe British Scholar, maybe few. But where is that? Because the government is not taking any initiative, either the state or the central government for the teacher empowerment or teacher knowledge enhancement. The three important qualities a teacher required is the teaching is a passion, teaching is a lifelong learning and the teacher is the only person have with that profession he get the opportunity to help the many students because still were the students maybe whatever the position they remember the teacher only when the teacher helped the students for his professional growth we have uh, mr rajkumar professor rajkumar who will share some of his views on the excellence of teaching and and the avenues and challenges I myself became a teacher by choice, 100% by choice. Now, uh, why did I choose teaching? So let me share my experiences. Uh, being trained in electronics and communication engineering, uh, naturally I could do a lot of programming and either system software or application software development was almost like uh, uh, on my fingers, I had done a lot of programming. But then even the programming can be, programming for an application is also creative. But if you see in a classroom what I do, it is creating the whole action, rather uh, creating the whole material of my own, doing the direction, doing the screenplay, and also acting upon and this action is not one way action uh, we have to look at the students take the feedback get connected with the student and live in the classroom and I thought that this is much much a higher level exercise than programming a dumb machine though with a lot of intelligence inbuilt into it so certainly since it is a human programming, not a dumb machine's programming, and a lot of creativity, opportunity for a lot of creativity, I chose that, I chose teaching. But somehow being into teaching at IIT Karakpur, I got the opportunity of creating systems for Indian defense automatically. So therefore I had both of uh, my first loves satisfied in the profession so therefore I feel that uh, for somebody who passes through an education system also should have grasped about how to deliver very effectively how to deliver lectures effectively well there are so many ailments friends I feel that the education system is not up to the mark we are not passing our kids through a right education system and somehow we need to change. Certainly the, the system of governance, the including our own uh, the political leaders and the officials who run the system and those who are participants in the system like me and like some of uh, my colleagues who are sitting here should think about it and it's a great national loss if we do not education, educate our uh, future generations properly. Well, uh, well, there are many jobs which do not need professional training, but some uh, amount of enlightenment in the form of education can certainly uh, add the dimension of uh, cognitive skills and analytical skills which are required to uh, perform a job in a proper form. So, uh, the job uh, becomes uh, uh, an automatic byproduct and students do get uh, jobs and certainly employers would like to employ people 
who are uh, uh, certainly empowered with the right skills and that would take place well there too there are lots of gaps the country what are the human resource requirements of the country today are we generating manpower according to our requirements itself is a big question and then it's easy to put the question rather than to answer we ourselves we do have some ideas about uh, the requirement but really not a concentrated effort uh, uh, not really a concentrated effort has gone into this uh, i think uh, the subject is a very deep subject we have several elements and it's not the uh, panel discussion is uh, not a right forum to talk about all of that i thought i'll just I'll just uh, touch upon with uh, some of my uh, my feelings and i have entered uh, some of my feelings out and thank you very much for this opportunity thank you professor rajkumar uh, which which brings me to the last leg of this panel discussion but before i allow 30 seconds to each speaker to uh, round up uh, i am tempted to 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 uh, recall that one statement from this movie called three idiots kabil bano naukri to jhak mar ke piche aayegi for the time being for this panel discussion i will allow now 30 seconds each beginning with professor mishra okay just uh, you know before we sum up i would like to say my feeling that bit of thinking how what i call out of square and out of circle to be innovative imaginative creative how the six skills which a teacher needs basically numeracy literacy core skill professional skill life skill and last but not the least is and and risk bearing skill so this key six skills a teacher must acquire and for that we need to create a pathway through the institutional framework and that is the responsibility of the government to help navigate to do that so we should plan and we should action trainer trainee should be trainer tomorrow master trainer specialist trainer expert trainer and finally gurus like professor rajkumar here so that level we should have we should create a pathway thank you very much starting from school to higher education the brightest example you can see uh, 24 by 7 365 days having appointment advertisement hanging on the website of all iims great iims and also in fact iits we are not finding good teachers so therefore uh, all of us we should understand that unless there are good teachers there would be no good students and there are people like us we born as a teacher we feel proud to be a teacher and we want to die as a teacher so therefore it's a noble profession and the teacher should understand that they have a profession with a passion the role of teacher has changed from the knowledge provider to the knowledge facilitators unless the teacher have not cope up with the research and the technology enabled learning he may not survive in the long run in the present day and he may not satisfy the student also thank you our institute is uh, trying to take up the initiative of training the plus 2 and uh, the degree level teachers of the state of odisha uh from iit bhubneshwar uh we would we are taking that that as a responsibility just only piece of information i'd like to share thank you i like to uh, sum up that uh, whatever said and done i firmly believe uh whatever this country is today whatever this country had been and whatever the country will be is because of the teachers that we have india is always proud to have brilliant teachers who have never cared for money if india would not have the right of teachers now united states which we call as the most developed nations most of their companies would not have been led by indians these indians were taught in the schools in india not there our teachers taught them without caring for money our teachers are always the best and i am sure india is going to be again a superpower because of our teachers to develop the skill of leadership if he can be a good leader he can create the leaders in the classroom or in the school the number 2 the teacher should all the time devote how to restrain the present generation 
from criminal activities alcoholism and sex the other things every teacher should be determined that to create the good human being